We pointed and gave the oath of uh, City Council to Andrew McDonald, who accepted it. So we have a full council again up until the election when the entire council will be open, which is strange. I explained it before, four-year terms, the two-year terms, and they got reversed. And so now we have to go two years and then back to four to get the thing back in cycle. So that's going to take a little while, a couple of years. We acted on work sessions one and two, which were guest cottage recommendation. They could have one per acre, so we agreed to that. And the water and orientated structure recommendation, we put them all at 10 feet. They were at 10, 15, and 20. We made it universal. We set public hearings for September 13th for both of them. Any input, whatever, can come in now through the 13th. The plow truck came in a little higher than uh, the original bid and budget because the hydraulics weren't included in the original bid, which is kind of insane. What good is it without hydraulics? We approved that tonight as well. Late tonight, we're going to do it, but I'd, we decided tonight to table it because we think the first may be too early. We want to get a little closer to Christmas, so we'll, we'll debate that at the next session. We also, the add-on for the council was uh, approval of a utility boring project for Braun Intertech through the MPL property for the utilities. So we'll let them get going on that. We're writing the RAMS announcement. They're asking for the letters from 63 RAMS mayors to encourage the legislators to act on some of these projects next year that are actually ready to go, not just us, it's everyone. And we approve the bills in the amount of $468,051.14, the July 26th City Council minutes, July 11th PUC minutes, July 6th PC minutes, and cemetery deed for Leon and Judd Schultz. That concluded our meeting for the city of Cohasset. The time was about 7.10 for August 10th. Thank you very much.